What's up everyone, it's Sam from 64 Wheels, back with more diecast, and today I have some of the Hot Wheels newest team transport releases. This is number 45, 46, and 47, which I can't believe we're almost up to 50 team transports already. It is wild. I've tried to collect them all. The only one I'm missing so far is the stupid Supreme one, but it's so much money. I'm going to have to save my pennies for that one and do a video on it eventually. But these I found locally at Target. Um, the price has gone up just a touch. I think they're right around $15 exactly now. Uh, they are, let me see, let me make sure I'm doing it the right way. So I think this is 45, right? Which one am I going to? Uh, here's 44. So the first one, 44, the Liberty Walk, I'm going to try to read it to make sure I get the name exactly right. Liberty Walk ER34 Super Silhouette Nissan Skyline R34 in the beautiful Avian Motul, I think is how you say it. Liberty, this is only the third time we've got this casting. Or the first time was in the Mountain Drifters in a very similar red and black. So uh, both of them look very similar, but the chase was all black with, uh, I think it had a yellow or no, it had a red roll cage. The other one had a yellow roll cage. So I think I like the first one better, but this is still excellent because it's Skyline GTR. It's going to sell out no matter what. So there's that one. The next one, is it 45 or 46? Which am I? Okay, 45. It is the Porsche 962 in shell livery with the Sakura Sprinter. So this is another one, all three of these, um, the Retro Rig, the Fleet Street, and the Sakura Sprinter, all of these are their fantasy castings. Um, none of these are licensed trucks. I think one of the only licensed trucks in this line is the Ford. Um, I'm trying to remember if there's another one. I think it's just the Ford right now. Um, but this looks great. This is the seventh time I believe we've seen this casting. It's been, it, I mean, it's been in a ton of different liveries, but this shell one looks pretty good. So I'm excited to open that one. And lastly, we have another amazing 1972 Plymouth Cuda Funny Car Snake. This is actually Snake 2, if I remember right. Yes. Um, I mean, the Snake and Mongoose the Demon and then the Cuda back in the day, that was Hot Wheels big. I mean, just, if you don't know about it, definitely Google it. Um, I've collected the original Redline versions of both Snake and Mongoose. They're some of my favorite pieces in my collection. Um, this particular casting is excellent. It came out in 2009 in the Drag Strip Demons line, I believe. Um, they've used it slowly ever since. It was in the Team Transport line once before as the regular Snake, the yellow one, and now it's back for Snake 2. So this is really killer. I think this will be popular amongst the older collectors where um, the younger collectors are probably gonna go after the GTR and the Porsche, it probably is a mix of both. So let's go ahead and bust these open and uh, take a look at each of them. Pop open number 44, the R34 GTR Super Silhouette Nissan Skyline and the Fleet Street. So I feel so bad ruining the card art because this card art is especially awesome because it has like the Hot Wheels background on it, which is pretty cool, almost like the Legends Tour style. So. I like it. I like when they add Hot Wheels logos. I think like Hot Wheels Racing and the Hot Wheels logo look great on anything, including cards. Oh, all right, let's see. Whoop. Nice. Get it up there without busting it up. So if you never bought this line, I've done a few videos on this line before. Um, they are premium, so they're mostly, uh, the, these cars are metal, body metal chassis and these are usually um, a little bit mixture of both like this one has a metal chassis i think most of the other ones do but since they're a little bit different like oddly shaped some of the chassis like this is still plastic um so but this is largely still metal because it is a premium but this thing is awesome man that looks cool so i also have uh the dream customs and lamely group uh, team up i don't know collab matt uh, this is the freeway this is the what is it the 15 freeway um he released this uh maybe sometime earlier this year i think i love this mat i'm gonna try to actually make some of these mats myself um at some point because they're really cool and they're awesome if you play hot wheels and display them take photos as you can see they look really good just like on this mat in general so um, this is a really nice casting. It looks good. Even though it's a fantasy casting, it matches well. It like looks real. Um, it's got the Abbey and the Liberty Walk logos. It's got two different types of tires on the top, uh, which is pretty cool. And I believe this should, does this one? Yes. So it pops off. Oh, I did it too much. Well, it, it can come off too. That actually looks sick, like a little drift. That looks awesome. Um, so this slides back. I just did it too hard. Ooh, let me step that back on. Just like so. Um, I don't know. I guess it'll do that, but this kind of isn't really good enough because now the car won't actually go on it. So it's a little bit of a bummer. Um, I don't, I think I'm doing it right. Uh, yeah, it just looks to be super, well, there it goes. Yeah, there it goes, okay. 
but still because of the huge front lip on this car it's really difficult like like if you go to cars and coffee and you scrape that bad you're getting laughed at so oh i don't know i don't know if i i definitely didn't mess it up but this one is, seems to be a little bit tighter than some of the other ones i've used in the past there it goes go up down see it came off again i don't know i don't know about this one guys Yeah, I don't know. The, the quality on this one, there it goes. Okay, so it snapped back in there. Well, I was trying to get to tilt back. It's not really doing it. So I will say about this about these. So this is more towards the collector side of Hot Wheels. So with that being said, they're not going to be played with as much as like a mainline or the Target Super Rigs I just did a video on. Um, but to me, that is still no excuse for a lack of quality or a part like this not working. Um, it does seem to slide back okay, but when you get to the end, I mean, it doesn't go back, so you can't put a car on it, so it's useless. So why even have it slide back in the first place, you know? Um, so that's a hang-up on that one, but otherwise, I mean, it's still on there. It still looks good, but that's my hang-up on that one. This particular actual, like, specific car, I don't know if that'll happen on yours if you buy it. Um, but let's look at this GTR. This thing is sick. Um, I wish we would have got it in another color since we basically gotten this casting in almost the same color combo with the first uh, release of it, but it looks good. The car looks good in red and black. Um, it's got the, I think they're 10 spoke modern wheels on it, metal chassis, rubber tires, of course. It's got nice Nissan logos, the Advan, the Motul. I'm probably going to say that wrong. Motul? Motul? I think is how you say it. Um, but the car looks good. It's got tampos all the way around. Um, it's got the number boxes. I mean, it's just, it's got headlights, taillights, really nice release. This one, I don't know if you can see it, but it has like a gray roll cage or a more darker roll cage. So it is a little bit harder to see. Um, but in general, the casting looks really good. So it rolls well. Most premiums I found roll well. The only premium that I've had recent memory of that hasn't rolled no matter what, what type of casting I've, or like what release was the, um, I think it was the Pandem BRZ. That one I've gotten, I've opened two or three of those and none of them roll right, which I'm kind of mad about because I like my stuff to roll. Uh, but there it is combined, looks really, really nice. A great release. I really like the, this truck and this color. They've done a great job with the livery on that one. So boom, next up, number 45, the Porsche 962 in the Sakura Sprinter. So um, the shell livery looks really good on this 962. When this first came out, I believe it was the Gretty and Gretty White. Um, and I bought a ton of those because I really liked this casting. I thought it looked good with those. And Hot Wheels up until recently hasn't, they didn't uh, release a lot of similar paint schemes. So you would get, uh, you know, like the, the black Mercedes 190E. I didn't think we were gonna find it in black again. So I bought a bunch and then they start releasing them um, in black again. So um, interesting thing about this one is in the packaging, they actually have a little plastic sleeve over the side of the trailer now so you don't get it so it doesn't like scuff up on side the inner bubble which that is a step up in quality for hot wheels so that is nice to see um i haven't seen that on any of the past uh sakura sprinters and you can even i don't know if you can see that but it does have scratches on it which means it saved the side of the truck from getting scratches on it so high five to hot wheels on that one Ooh, all right let's go oh, almost lost it i almost went for a ride okay all right let's see here so this thing looks really, really clean. I'm not a huge yellow car person, but this in the shell, it looks really nice. They did a good job with like, um, like period correct graphics, I feel like, because that shell is almost in like an older font. The shell logo hasn't changed much over the years. Um, the Porsche font either, that's that's been pretty standard their whole, um, whole career of racing. And the cool thing about that is, is this looks like it looks new and old at the same time, which I appreciate. Um, it's got a little shell on the front. The box is plastic. The main body is metal and it's got really nice tampos really all the way around. I don't know if you can see, but it's got the like the little metal fins. Um, it's got the little lights on top. It's got door handles, has the really nice white like steel wheels on it. I really like those wheels. Um, it just gives it more to that like utilitarian feel of a race car hauler. I think that's awesome. Um, and unlike the Target, I'll pull this up, um, like this, 
the rig dog this trailer is so much more um, just has a bigger opening can fit a lot more different cars in it even though it's not as long to me this one is more useful than this one just because you're so like you're so limited on the amount of cars you can actually get through the door on that one where this one you can fit quite a few so um, the Porsche itself is awesome so it, sh it says Shell Mit M2000 on it, which I don't actually know what it is. I don't know if I needed to do some research on that. So I'm sure this is actually after a real race car or a similar race car that was raced during this period when this car was actually new. The headlight tampos, it's got a nice Porsche tampo over the front of the glass. Uh, it's done really well. Um, none of them, they look, uh, they don't look too fuzzy. They look pretty sharp. Um, there it has a 17 bubble, the Shell, the Porsche, another Shell logo. Overall, it's done very well. It even has the little red tow hook logo or like tampo on it. It's done done very nicely. Um, it has the white aero disc wheels, which match the white wheels of the truck very nicely. So in combination, I mean, this would be an awesome photo, uh, just like a diorama set. Like that just looks so good right there. It really does. And it rolls awesome. It's got a little squeak to it though. I don't know if you can hear that. But it rolls well. The truck actually rolls better than the actual car. But I like both. Very, very nice. I'm, I'm impressed with the quality and the detail on this. Um, I don't know. I think this might be the, uh, how do you call it? Like the, I don't know if these are like the decal version of tampos. They almost feel like they are because usually you can't feel the actual tampos on the car. But I feel like I can feel these. Like they have a um like a texture to them so these might be more of the the like decal style i don't know how to explain it better than that like almost like traditional water slides that have been glossed over they almost feel like that where this feels more like a tampo in my opinion so let's go ahead and see if it'll fit this one the back door works a lot better fits in there really nicely just like that so that is a really nice casting i think i prefer the truck to the first one, um, the Sakura Sprinter, just because I think the box is pretty cool, um, but they're both very nice casting. So lastly, number 46, the 1972 Plymouth Cuda Funny Car in the Retro Rig. This I'm very excited about this one. I do have the, uh, the actual Cuda open um, because I did buy some of the Drag Shark Demons back in the day. Uh, I think it was also, I think it was a snake too, a black snake. Um, and then they released it, obviously, like I said before, in the Team Transport line as the original sink in yellow. So it's cool that we're getting another one of these. So let's go ahead and bust this out. Yeah, five okay. All right, so this is the retro rig. I am a big fan of this. Uh, it looks like one of the Dodge haulers back in the day, which is cool because they've also paired it with another Mopar. Um, it's got the plastic uh, back here. This whole thing is plastic. But the rest is metal, like what I was saying earlier. Like some of the back technically is plastic, but the chassis on this one, like that is a big piece of metal. So um, the, you got your metals worth on this one. And the front, the actual cab, the hood, the doors is also metal as well. So really nice like headlight detail on that one. Um, it's got some detail on the lights and the horns and stuff up here. It says Snake 2 on it. It just looks so retro, like so, so good. Man, look at that. Again, these, like the dioramas you can make with these or like the photos you could take with these are just, uh, just awesome because they look so good. So nice. Look at this. This looks awesome. So this is the Plymouth Cuda funny car. Let's do a little roll test real quick. Oh man, that looks good. Need to get out some like red or orange hot wheel track, like the OG and do some photos with this one because this thing is sick. So it has tampos all around. There you can see it says snake. It's got the headlights, the grill detail, the full tampos down the side. Um, detail in the back with the little parachute. It's got the nice spoiler. Um, again, these look like the printed tampos rather than the actual painted ones. Um, I don't know if they are, but that's what it feels like to me because the CUDA on the back, the taillights are very sharp. They look really, really nice. So headlights too, just an excellent casting. It's got those fat Goodyears out back. The skinnies up front and to top it all off, the body opens. So let's check it out. It's got the little plastic stand here. Make sure I don't pull it too far. So there it is, is how it sits with the body up. Um, there you can see the big engine, uh, the little driver cockpit, the huge exhaust pipes. I mean, this is so cool. Anytime we can get a moving part, whether it's an opening or a hood or like, like the Corvette Z06, the drag one, um, the, I think, K5 
came out this year in Boulevard or maybe last year, the blue one that has the pieces that pop off. I'm a big fan of that, like moving parts included with that. So it's cool that we're getting this again, just an excellent casting. Like this in itself, I feel like would be worth $15 if they packaged it alone. I don't want to give them any ideas, but this is such a good casting. Like look how cool that looks. Man, I really, really, really like that. It looks so good. So, okay, so now that we've unboxed these all, let me put them to the side here. Um, take a look at them. Let me know in the comments which one of your favorites. Um, if you're collecting this line, I'm a big fan of this line. Like I said, I've done videos on this before. Every one of these cars to me is, is a buy. Like this truck is amazing with the Porsche. This looks good. Obviously this will be hot because it's a GTR. This will be hot amongst new dragster. Uh, Mopar, muscle car, vintage collectors, new collectors. I mean, everyone's gonna like this one. These, so this will probably, like, these will probably be the two hot ones from there, from this line, and this will probably be the peg warmer, but it doesn't deserve to be because it's excellent as well. So um, let me know what you think of these in the comments, which one is your favorite. Um, I'm gonna have some more stuff coming up soon. I do have some more team transport, a little bit older ones that I need to do because I wanna do the whole line of them. Um, so stay tuned for that. Um, like and subscribe, like always. Uh, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, uh, what I'm trying to think, Langley Group. And then now I'm also doing whatnot. So if you'd like to buy any of the cars you possibly have seen in my videos before, I just have so many. I'm going through taking some of my doubles and putting them up on whatnot. Be doing some cool giveaways soon. So if you haven't downloaded whatnot, hop on the link in my description below and you get $15 just for signing up, which you can use to buy anything with. You don't even have to buy stuff from me. You can buy Hot Wheels or pops or cards or whatever from anyone. So um, don't forget to do that. Check out the link in the description also for the other uh, Team Transport videos, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.